hello there welcome back to coding stuff and in this video we'll see how we can use custom navigation bar so i have created one empty project and it has nothing now so first thing that we'll do uh, inside the themes we'll change the action bar to no action bar and then uh, we'll have to add some dependencies in here so just open your favorite browser and search for mayo bottom navigation i don't know what uh, how to pronounce it so click on this second link and we'll copy this implementation so just copy it and i'll paste it over here and also in the gradle dot properties we need to add one line that is uh, enable JT fire so over here and then click on sync now so as you can see here uh, use android x by adding these lines to gradle properties so yeah, uh, we are using android x that's why we need to add this uh, enable JT fire and also the use android x but that is already here so yeah then everything is fine now in here uh, we'll change this constraint layout to frame layout and inside this we'll create one linear layout which will be match parent and match parent we will provide it on gravity of center inside this we'll have one text view and width will be match parent height will be wrap content and let's provide the id so page title and we'll provide gravity center to it and the text color will be black and the text size uh, let's keep it 20 sp so yeah after linear layout we'll add bottom navigation coming from this et barrier or uh, this one so just select this and width will be match parent and height will be wrap content and we'll provide gravity to it of bottom and also we'll provide id to it so let's let's give it id bottom navigation so then we'll add some properties uh, like background color and all that so this one background bottom color and i'll select purple 200 yeah this one and then the circle color this I will keep it white like selected icon color this will be purple 200 and the last one will set on property to default icon color and keep it white so yeah so yeah uh, that's fine now we'll add some icons so click on the drawable and select vector sets So first will be home, search for home and I'll select this. Then for message. Then for notification, so this one click on ok then the last one which will be user so let's search for account and select this account circle next and finish so yeah now in the main activity we'll create some constant variable so private final int this will be id home and let's keep it one and i'll just duplicate this so control d four times and this will be message this will be notification this will be account and let's just change their values so 2 3 and 4 
now we'll find IDs. So text view. Let's name it as a text view. Find view ID. R dot ID dot page title. And then we have the bottom navigation. So bottom navigation. This one. Let's name it bottom navigation and find view ID. R dot ID dot bottom navigation. So now we'll add some data to bottom navigation. So dot add and here new and here uh, the first parameter will be id home and then the icon. So r dot travel dot home this one and I will duplicate this. This will be message. This will be notification and this will be account. So instead of home, this will be message tab and this will be notification and this will be the account. Yeah. Then we'll add on click listener to bottom navigation. So set on click listener. New bottom navigation dot show on click listener. Sorry, uh, this is set on show listener. And also we will have to add site on menu click list now. So we'll not do anything inside this method, but uh, you can navigate user from each uh, one fragment to another fragment. So we are not doing anything inside this site on click list now. You can show the toast or you can navigate user and all that. So I'll leave it on you like what you want to do. You can do it here and then using this item you will get the clicked item so with that item you can do anything so yeah inside this site on show click list now what we will do we'll create one string uh, which will be name and then we'll use a switch statement and inside this item dot kit id and we'll have four cases so case id home and inside this we'll use our name and we'll set the value to it as a home and then we'll have the break sorry and then we'll have the break then we'll have another case uh, id message then break case id notification name equals to notification the break Case ID account name equals to account and then the break and we can have the default statement as well and inside that what we'll do we'll just pass the empty string to the name then uh, just after this we can call our text view and we can set text to it so get string and one thing in these strings I have added uh, one string that is page title and the value of it percentage of which acts like a placeholder and then page is selected so whatever the uh, we are passing here whatever the value of uh, home message or notification or account that will be set inside this percentage s so yeah r dot uh, string dot page title and then name so yeah after this we can call our bottom navigation and we can show it so the default will be id home and enable animations will variable class pass two so yeah that's it now i'll try to run the app and let's see so as you can see uh, it looks cool i'll select a uh, message notification count so yeah this is working fine and as I told you you can add like in here you can add uh, anything that you want to do you can show the toast or you can navigate user from uh, one fragment to another fragment or one activity to another activity so yeah I will make a video about it later but in this video it's uh, more about the design so yeah so yeah it's working fine so that's it for this video do subscribe and thank you for watching